We can see some harnessing being placed around the capsule. This harnessing is what will be used to lift the Dragon capsule out of the water and onto the recovery vessel. Wow, we got a cute little pod of dolphins. It wasn't just one or two. <laughs> I mean, that water just looks beautiful. We had ideal uh, splashdown parameters today. Obviously, wave height, narrow concern. Um, the weather is beautiful, as Jaden mentioned, in the 60s, sunny. Looking forward to seeing Crew 9 exit the capsule here shortly once they get hoisted onto the recovery vessel, Megan. We can see that recovery vessel slowly but surely closing the distance there between... Oh, Dolphin Cam back again. <laughs> Uh, we can we can see uh, that the Dragon capsule and the recovery vessel, that distance is closing. Again, this is just one more step as we continue to work recovery operations for Dragon Freedom. Uh, and we anticipate uh, the lift of the Dragon capsule to occur here in just a few minutes. Now, once uh, all of the rigging is on the capsule and it's hooked up to the recovery vessel, we will see the hydraulic arm, which is that kind of like bridge-like structure there at the aft end of the recovery vessel. We'll see that articulate backwards, and um, that's a good sign that we're, we're getting even closer to pulling the capsule out of the water. It will then uh, move forward, and uh, the capsule will be placed inside of what you can see there is basically a basket. We call it the nest, uh, dragon nest, where that's where the capsule will will be placed uh, in order for it to be translated to the forward end of the of the vessel and for the astronauts to egress. And before that does pl take place, we'll have uh, potentially views of the rigger. Uh, go ahead and jump off of the spacecraft there. That typically occurs when the spacecraft is a little bit closer to the recovery vessel, and we usually get a really good view of that uh, particular operation from one of the onboard cameras from the recovery vessel. That is uh, an operation that I, I have a lot of respect and admiration <laughs> for, that individual that, uh, that does that. So again, Dragon continuing to get closer and closer to the recovery vessel, Megan. You see some of those uh, ropes now uh, coming into view as well. If you are just joining us, Crew 9 splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time with NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Butch Wilmore, Sonny Williams, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. They're now working through procedures uh, to hoist this, this spacecraft up onto the recovery vessel Megan. We just saw that hydraulic arm get lowered into the lifting position. That arm will be the mechanism that is utilized to lift Dragon up and out of the water and into the, uh, the nest located there at the aft end of the recovery vessel. And the recovery vessel being used today is, um, as we mentioned multiple times, is named Megan, but that's actually after NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur, who flew on Crew 2 a couple of years ago. We're getting some views now from actually on so inside the boat. Yeah, Drag you're exactly right. Uh, this view is uh, straight down the recovery vessel uh, that platform that was closest to the camera, that is the egress platform. Freedom. Rigging is almost complete. Approximately five minutes until capsule lift. Great news there from SpaceX 4. So about five minutes left until we see Dragon Freedom get lifted out of the water. That hydraulic arm, as I said before, is the mechanism that will lift it. Uh, it's it's quite swift, actually. The the whole process of getting the, the spacecraft brace for capsule lift. Bracing. There it goes. Dragon Freedom being lifted out of the water and onto our recovery vessel, Megan.
So once securely on. Uh, Welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and stand by for translation to the egress platform. Freedom copies.